guys! Hey! Welcome back to The Sister Effect. I am Nicole. And I'm Haley. And here we are. Today's video is a hair tutorial. <clears throat> Not just for me, but for both of us. So this is my beachy wave look and this is Haley's curly look. And in today's video you'll see us start from the very beginning all the way through to the end. Um, and you'll see products that we use and kind of how we make our hair do what we want. And we can do our hair in about 10 minutes. Yeah. So I mean, already dried. Yeah. Because we want, yeah. I wash my hair, sleep on it. Yeah, me too. I wash my hair and let it air dry and then I ran straight through it. But you'll hear all of that in the video. Enjoy. Oh, that'll work yours. Okay, so. <clears throat> she made me leave my house like this. <laughs> So here is what we're starting with. Now, my hair is naturally curly, and for this look, I just threw a serum in it and ran the straightener through it just to defrizz some because if I don't, it just looks like a wet poodle. So, um, products I used on this is I have a new shampoo conditioner that I've been using. It's uh, pure Brazilian, and it's a Brazilian blowout, and I don't do use a blow dryer on it, but even still, like letting it air dry, it's really helped with the frizz. And then I have a new, this is um, a purple shampoo, and this stuff smells so good. Oh my god, that's what I, I put it, smell. I put it in my hair, oh. and I was like, oh. I'm so bummed that I don't have the conditioner, because this conditioner doesn't smell nearly as good as this, but this is so, so good. So I use this to help with the toning, and honestly, even after just a couple washes, it's been bomb to help, like, bring back the lightness instead of it being so yellow. So this is how I'm starting. Your turn. This is how I'm starting. <laughs> Usually, if I'm curling my hair, I will wear my hair straight the first day and curl it, like, second and third day. Um, but on occasion, I'll start from this. I don't blow dry my hair. I wash it the night before. Um, I use a purple shampoo once a week, not because I have super blonde hair, but because I do have like blonde balayage highlights through it. Um, so I like to keep those toned and not get brassy. Um, I use a, two Aveda products. I don't know the exact names, but I've used them for like the past four years. It's really good for humidity and frizz. So I use that like right after um, I take my hair out of a towel and I feel naked if I don't use them. So they go with me even when we're like camping in the summer and I don't do anything with my hair, but I just can't go without using them. Aveda has some great products for like anti-frizz. I use their like straightening or their, one of their serums um, before I straighten my hair. I know that's not what it's made for, but that's how I use it. Like I just put it through my hair before I straighten just to kind of help. And it does a phenomenal job. And I've used like all, there was a phase I don't do it. I used nothing but Aveda for a really long time. So, yeah. So, you have to try it, you need to. So, that's what I do. And then, um, if it's like second or third day hair, I use a Brio Gio um, dry shampoo that I didn't bring because I just washed my hair last night, slept on it. I woke up kind of like this. It's fallen a lot. Um, my hair is really fine. I did straighten my bangs because <laughs> my bangs. Like, I got to do them by themselves to see what they're going to do if I need to, like, right. glue them to my forehead so they don't stick up like this. Yeah. So, okay. we're going to go. Okay, so, I do my hair in layers, and I don't do the very, very bottom because it's mostly straight anyway. So, I just pull up a top piece. I just kind of part it above my ears a little ways. And I'm going to just show you how I start mine, and then Haley can go, and you can, we're just going to wing it. So, um, I run, I just use a, I think this is a three quarter inch size That's curly. what mine is. Yeah, I use a three quarter inch um, curly iron. I used to use a lot bigger, but I looked like for a faucet, which was fine for then. But for the look I'm going for today, not so much. So I use a three quarter inch curly iron. This is just a cheap counter one that has lasted me a lifetime. I love this. And I don't feel so bad that when I go places, if I lose it or forget it, it's Mine's not. a counter too. So, anyways. So I just take it, I grab small sections. Like so. And I, for this look, I'm just curling right at the, like, the base of my head. Like right at the top. Leaving this straight. And then hold it for a second. Pull it through. And this is what I'm left with. 
So this is basically what I do. For a while I was kind of mix matching back and forth, like doing it different ways. Um, but I didn't like the way that it, oh, that it ended up sitting at the end. So this is just what I do. So, go ahead, hey. I don't know why you guys want a hair tutorial from me. I think it's more from her, but I, I just curl my hair. My hair is an asymmetrical cut. So like <clears throat> this side is a lot shorter than this side and it's like angled all the way around the back. Um, it's about time I get a cut and my, my hair girl is on maternity leave. So shout out to you, Becca, your baby is so cute. <laughs> so I curl, I sometimes, it depends on what I want my curls to look like. Sometimes I'll curl the bottom layer. Um, I'm gonna just do a rough curl on it today, but I always leave the bottom hanging out, regardless of if it's like sh stick straight or not. That's just what I do. So that's what I got. And see, here's the thing with me is that I go through phases where I do my hair a certain way, the same way for a while, and then I switch it up and do something different. I do that for a while. So when my hair is like naturally air dried and Mufasa like, I'll touch that up with a curling iron and. I'm on the wrong side of you. I'm gonna freaking punch you on the side of the head. Oh, yeah. Left, you look left or sit over here. Yes. Guys, obviously we're in Michigan. I wore sandals today. I Yeah, I sat outside with just a sweater on, drank my coffee on the patio with sandals on, and it was magical. My daughter is in her glory because we finally, like, she's been outside all morning. She's outside right now with dad and uncle. Just wandering around in her cute little rain boots with her hat on. She looks so cute in a baseball hat. I know. <laughs> I think it's just because we're still used to seeing AJ in a baseball hat and she's AJ's mini. So that could be why. So we have a lot of cool things coming up that I'm pretty pumped for. I have a giant breakout on my chin. Oh my gosh. You can't even see it. It's been, there's two of them. They've been like the bane of my existence all week. <laughs> some more but um I just kind of eye it and then touch up pieces as we go because with these layers being longer um oh you're, go, you're curling yeah I have with, two more layers well that's fine with these layers being longer it I don't like the like super straight like looks like I didn't know how to curl my hair look you know like the bottom layers that's okay but these top layers I try to kind of bring the curling iron through so that way it's still straight at the bottom but not nearly like as straight and pronounced, I guess. Just so it still has that like wavy look. Hey Bear, you can say that your makeup doesn't look bomb today, but your makeup looks bomb today. Hey, thanks. Yeah. Guys, I'm obsessed with this lip color. Just saying. It's a little bit obnoxious, but I guess I wouldn't have it much of any other way. I'm going obnoxious for our next video. But I figure while I'm curling my hair, I don't need to have bright, <laughs> bright um, coral pink lipstick on. Well, why not? Doesn't really go with my graphic tee. You're looking funny. Ta da! We're making progress. Okay, the fact that you get your hair done so fast, like, I can get ready in the morning for work in under 20 minutes. Um, my mind that you can do your hair so fast. Well, okay, so pre Presley and like when Presley was little, like before Haley really got me into like figuring out how to do my makeup the right way, I could literally do my hair and makeup every single morning in 30 minutes. Like I, when I had to be to work at say 7.30 and it took me a half an hour to get there and I had to leave my house by like 7, I would get up at 
6.45, do my hair, do my makeup, get dressed, sometimes eat breakfast, I'm so hungry, and be out the door. But now that I actually, like on days that I don't do my makeup and I just do like a quick five minute face and just throw things on and throw my hair together, I can still do it. But, and that's most days because, well, I have a toddler who doesn't like to let me get ready. Mom, you getting ready? Yeah. Mom, I want to snuggle. But press, I'm getting ready. Mom, I want to snuggle. But press, I'm getting ready. Mom, I want to snuggle. Guys, anybody, anybody else have a toddler that does that? You're doing something and they know they're like they're completely fine when you're just standing there, but the second you start to do something, they're like, Mom, hold me. Mom, I want to do this. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. What's up? So my hair, my part is pretty deep. I part it pretty deep over here. You do have a really pronounced part. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I, I'll switch it up sometimes, but for the most part, I just like most of my hair being over here. Um, also, when I curl my hair, so my curls aren't like, you know, Shirley Temple curls, I comb through them like lightly right after I run the curling iron through them. Yeah. Run your hands through them or even just like pull the curl down just to kind of weigh it down some so it's not like, yeah. Get over there. Oh, you want my clip? No, I have one. I just, you know. Like, oh, hey! Know. Guys, these clips. Where'd you get yours from? Um, good question. Mine came in like a 500 point box from Sephora. Like, you know, you can- Oh, yeah. So I mine think are I'm... dry bar ones and they are so good. Like. Oh, see mine are Revive. But they're identical. Yeah, they are identical. And I was watching a video last night and the girl had some of them and they were from Amazon. So like you can get these clips anywhere. Yeah, but we'll link them down below because these clips are like wow. They like, actually they, hold your hair. Yeah, and they like, they're like, look at this. Isn't this cool? I'm yeah. not sure the point. Be oh, I didn't know it did that. Yours doesn't do it as much. It's like toys for adults. <laughs> <laughs> Not, don't be weird. Oh, you said it. You took it there. Ah, okay. Well, so a friend of mine who is also a blogger and she does all the things. Um, her name is Tracy Hensel and she, you can find her on YouTube. You can find her at TracyHensel.com. She does all the things. She's amazing. She has tons of great advice and tons of like... She's Tips. like the opposite of what we are. Like, yes. she's a she's a lady. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're kind of hot messes. She, but she's amazing. And um, if you check out her page, you'll see she has tips from budgeting to like how to be a classy lady and like and we're gonna collab with her soon and do um, a video with her for you guys. <clears throat> but um, anyways, she messaged me the other day and she's like, she, she's doing her hair and. If you, and follow her on Snapchat, she's amazing on Snapchat, she has a huge Snapchat following, so she's constantly ans answering questions and, like, just chatting, and she's super fun to watch, but she, <laughs> her and I send video texts back and forth, so we'll, like, film a video and send it to each other instead of, like, trying to Snapchat or whatever, that's just how her and I talk. And she sends me a video, and she's like, okay, so I'm assuming that this is how you do your hair. Do you wrap your hair so you have more volume? And her hair's shorter than mine, and she has more layers. So we're, like, sending videos, and I'm literally sending her a tutorial on how I do my hair. And she's like, you just need to do one of these so that I can see the whole thing. So, Tracy, here you go. <laughs> uh, but it's funny because I don't have to wrap my hair up here. I mean, sometimes I would like to for a little more volume. But I just have so much hair that I just don't have to. Um, and this is just the look that I go for. Mind you, some people might not like this. This might not be your thing. But if you like the big, loose, like, beachy waves, um... This is how I do them, and I know that you can do them with a flat iron. I know that you can do them with, there's like the beach waver, there's all kinds of different things, but this is my tool of choice, and this is how I do it, and I, I, I mean, it took us all of, took me all of 10 minutes, so, and I have a That's lot of That's all we've been doing. So, um, when I'm done, I use the, the one by Frederick Kai, which Haley recommended in our March Favorites video. I love this stuff. I will never go back. And then I'm going to use her Mika hairspray because it smells so good. I use my hairspray first just so it holds throughout the day. I mean, my hair holds curl pretty good, but yeah, mine does too. And I mean, I, I will now rock this hairstyle for the next, oh, you know, four days, five days. And, and then I'm six, I'm feeling feisty. I'm so. 
then spray my Amika the one in give it more volume which my hair I have a lot of hair um, but my hair is really fine so it will hold volume but it my hair will fall I mean I have a I have a lot of it so it Look, it stays pretty fluffy unless they like straighten it first. So, and when I don't have Haley here to use her Amika hairspray, since I haven't got mine yet, um, I use the Pantene Volume Textured or like Texturizing Hairspray. I've shared this before. It's a drugstore purchase. I love the stuff. It just does a really good job of like kind of defining and separating, so it's not all stuck together, and it doesn't make my hair feel crunchy because there's nothing worse than having crunchy hair. <laughs> so. Seriously. Thanks for watching. Um, if you guys like the hair tutorial or like dip tutorials like this where we just kind of hang out and chat and do our own thing, let us know. Haley's the makeup queen, so maybe one day we'll have her do a makeup tutorial. No. Yes. Probably not. Um, but it. make sure to follow us on Instagram at The Sister Effect. You can follow us across the board at The Sister Effect. Um, <coughs> we do have our Facebook up and running, so make sure to like us there because that's where you'll find things first. Um, subscribe to the blog. Check us both out on our own personal Instagrams, mm -hmm. um, and make sure to like and subscribe and leave us a comment because we love to hear from you. Um, and stay tuned because we do have a lot, other, a lot more videos coming your way. We're gonna make this a regular thing. We swear it. <laughs> but thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.